The Mail Tips feature is only available when your Outlook is connected to a Microsoft Exchange server. How do you know if it's connected? Well, down below on the status bar, you can see I'm connected, so I have the feature. And what it does is it provides real-time information about the messages I'm composing and the recipients they intend to reach. So after I type in the email address and before I type in anything else, it'll automatically show up an information bar just above the email address, the to field, about the status of the person that you're sending this email message to. And those statuses can include, like number one, the recipient's mailbox is full, so if it's full, they're not going to get your email, so what's the point in continuing on typing an email message unless you want to save it as a draft? Number two, the number of recipients the message will be delivered to exceeds what can be sent as defined by the system administrator. Number three, the recipient is using automatic replies, like the out-of-office feature, which is another feature that's only available if you're connected to the Exchange server, and we'll cover that in a later training video. And one of those replies are like, hey, I'm out of the office, I won't be back until two weeks from now, in which case you don't want to go ahead and send them an email message when you need a more immediate response. Number four, the recipient you're sending it to is not within the organization, they're external. Number five, if you're sending it to a contact group and one of the recipients is external. And number six, the mailbox quota is about to be exceeded. In other words, messages being composed will put your mailbox quota over the limit and you won't be able to send more messages until you free up some space in your mailbox. Things like that and additional information. So for example, if I go ahead and create a new email message, double click in a blank area, there's my email, and I want to send it to Carrie. Let me come up here and type in K, and there's Carrie, hit the tab key, and oh, there you go, there's the mail tip, automatic reply. I'm on holiday, back when I feel rested, in a big happy face, and I'm like, okay, well, I can't wait to when you feel rested, I gotta have an answer sooner than later, so I can go ahead from this mail tip, say, I'm not gonna send it to her, let me try somebody else. And so it'll all pop up there, again, if you're connected to a Microsoft Exchange server. Now, if you want to go ahead and change the settings for the mail tips, you can do it from the email itself. you got the File tab. You can go backstage, or you can just close out, not save it, and come up here in the main window of Outlook. Click on File, go backstage, down to Options. Select the Mail tab, and then scroll down to... There we go, Mail Tips, Manage Your Mail Tip Options. For example, you may determine when and how to display the Mail Tips bar and which Mail Tips to display. Click on Mail Tips Options, and by default, I think all of them are checked. So you can go through here and say, look, if the recipient is a restricted one, I don't want to see the Mail Tip, you can uncheck that. And it's being applied to this account. Click on the drop-down arrow. If I had more email accounts, set up here, then I can say, okay, maybe it's going to be to that email address, another email account, in any case. And then down below the mail tip bar display options, you can have it display automatically when mail tips apply, or display all the time, in which case when you select that, click OK, click OK, double click, you can see it's displaying right now, but nothing applies because I don't have an email address where it can look it up and go, okay, they're out of the office or if there's any mail tips that do apply. So if I type in carry, hit the tab key, well, it does apply now. In any case, to go ahead and turn that off, leave my message up, go back stage file, go down to options, and because I was in the message, it takes me right to the mail tab, so I can just go ahead and scroll down to the mail tips, mail tips option, and go back to display automatically when mail tips apply. Or if I never want to be bothered by it, never display it. And click OK, click OK, and there we go. Back to where we started. Double click, no mail tips, OK, hit the tab key, there. Who knows when she's going to be back. And when she does, she can turn that feature off. So next time when I type in her email address and I don't get the mail tip that there's any issues, well, I'm good to go. Go ahead and finish typing in the email knowing that it'll get to her, at least without any barriers like she's out on holiday. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.